What's good, Josh? Boy Ross back at again with another video. So, I found a very interesting topic on Twitter, and I, I wanted to kind of talk about it, give my thoughts and opinions on it, and kind of get a feel for how y'all feel about it. So, this was on a Russell Ops Twitter page. They posted, been seeing some discourse surrounding the topic as of late. So curious to know, is Solo Sokoa being overexposed on the main roster? And that's a very interesting question that I can understand why some people would feel that way on maybe him being overexposed. I think that kind of falls into the category because we see him on Monday Night Raw and we see him on SmackDown. Usually the Usos and Solo, they go to both shows. They go to both brands. And I can see why someone would say maybe he's being overexposed because he's usually having a match part of the main event of the show usually on both shows sometimes he'll be the main event of raw and he'll be the main event of smackdown in some type of form or fashion whether it's a tag team or whatever the case may be me personally i can get that argument but at the same time when it comes to this bloodline situation since they're floating between both shows in the in the in, this, in the case of sammy and, and and kevin owens holding both the raw and uh smackdown championships it makes sense why he's being exposed because he is the enforcer he's the in my opinion he's the next guy up outside of roman you got roman as the tribal chief now solo sokoa has kind of moved up into that second role and i'm not counting paul Heyman. i'm counting just the the hierarchy in the sense of like in-ring competitors you got roman reigns then solo has moved up to the second in command because he used to kind of be the usos a little bit more more so maybe like jay a little bit and then maybe jimmy some could say you could argue the two but right now solo is the guy right behind roman and then you have jimmy and jay they're kind of in the same boat and when you have that dynamic he's the closest thing we have to roman in in the in the sense of a character that should be taken very seriously they have booked solo in my opinion very well people are getting more invested into him you know he still has a lot to to learn when it comes to you know getting getting better in the ring but the presentation of how they presented him as this credible threat that doesn't say much he's he literally damn near stays in character as much as he possibly can he doesn't say much the little stuff he says is pretty impactful he he's serious he's out there to do roman's bidding and he will hurt anybody it's even the fact of how he looks at when Rhea and 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 solo have had interactions in the ring Rhea's are all about the smoke for anybody and solos he comes off like i i will samoan spike you i don't care that you're the women's champion i will give you the beats if i have to if the tribal chief demands it that's what type of time he's on so i am okay with them exposing them on both shows since they go to both shows i get it maybe it would be different if they only had him on one show particularly but i don't know what's going on with this whole draft situation so he they just have the ability to float between both shows like that so i get it to expand the story you know i i don't have a problem with them exposing him as much as they have he's been a credible threat i think on the main roster i think he may have i think he may have only lost twice on the main roster i correct me if i'm wrong i know he's lost to uh cody rhodes and i believe he may have lost to kevin owens in singles competition i'm not sure correct me if i'm wrong but i, I know he's only really lost i know to cody you know what i'm saying and the fact that they've been booking him this strong is showing how much they really are buying into him and really wanting you know really wanting to see um where they can go with this and he's been doing really well in those main event spots his entrance looks you know pretty cool pretty intimidating he's a he he's a he's a serious guy he, when he comes out there there's a good chance you feel like somebody's gonna get hurt and i can appreciate that considering once again this has become roman's right hand man his enforcer to get the job done him, when they were having the whole tribal meeting and Sami Zayn was trying to plead his case or wasn't trying to plead his case and the fact that he called Solo's name and Solo got up 
He was about to hit him with the Samoan spike. He wasn't about to question it. Boom. Like, bro, that, this is just one of those things where I think they're doing the right job. And someone made a very good comparison. I think it was on one of our live streams um, where they compared him to like Batista and Evolution. Batista and Evolution didn't really start talking much. You didn't really get his personality you know until they started pushing him to go against triple h to take triple h down and be the next guy up but triple uh batista was the enforcer he was the enforcer he didn't say too much he was there to cause havoc and make sure triple h was taken care of and do as much damage as he possibly could and that's the same thing here solo don't say much he's just there to make sure roman is taken care of and he does as much damage as humanly possible granted Batista and Evolution were exclusively mostly to Raw, so that's why I can understand why people say, well, we see him on Raw and SmackDown in the main event, you know, that can be a little bit of overexposure. But at the same time, I do think what they're still doing with him, people still care. People are getting more invested. And I think the real story will be at some point, we all know this is happening, but at some point, when was Solo tell Roman no? Because we know Jimmy and Jay, they're going to reach their point where they're like, no, it's screw you, Roman. But I think Solo's going to stay for a little bit. Solo will be the last guy outside of Paul Heyman that's going to be around for Roman. And then ultimately, I think that's when things will fall apart. But it's going to be interesting to see what Solo does. Because Solo, I think, and a lot of people have said this, and a lot of people have put this out there, and this could be a possibility. Solo, Sokoa, could be maybe one of those future opponents that roman has to get through within the bloodline once that all falls apart because he once again solo he he's a credible guy he comes off very serious and he knows roman very well so that could be a thing that they do maybe who knows but it's going to be interesting to see when he finally breaks away from roman and says screw you and starts doing his own thing that's when we're going to really see, because at this point, people would have bought in, bought in, and I think the story they're going to tell is Solo's going to be the last person, but Roman's going to be mistreating him. He's going to be disrespecting him. He's going to be like, you know, kind of treating him like Sami Zayn, like, you know, being disrespectful, and Solo's going to snap. And I think the crowd is going to buy into that because the crowd's going to want to see that. And you may end up having a new star being born. So, I don't know. We will see how it all plays out, but I do think... Um, they're exposing him in the right way. I get it. It's on both shows, but I, I think they're doing the right thing by what they've been doing with him so far. And hopefully they continue that. And hopefully he can become a bigger star out of it. Because I think he's been in a really great spot these past few months. So comment down below. Let me know. Do you guys feel like Solo Sokoa is being overexposed? Or do you feel like what they're doing right now with him is perfect and they need to keep on doing that? Let me know down below, but I appreciate all the love and support you guys are showing on the channel. Road to 150K, and I'm still here on the speed of YouTube, wrestling champ of the world. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next one.